Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles. Hope you're doing well today. I'm excited. I am very, very excited for today's adventure. The 20W16 Day Snapshot finally added bastions to Minecraft. Bastions are Minecraft's newest mega structure. These structures are absolutely gigantic. They generate within the nether, have lots of piglins, a fair amount of hoglins usually, and some pretty decent loot if you're lucky as well. In my 20W16A snapshot breakdown video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video and the poll was overwhelmingly in the direction of yes, so here's today's video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at three super cool looking bastions that I found. I will show the world seed when I'm checking out each bastion and I'll leave the seed down in the description and I'll show the coordinates as well. I'd also like to say that I haven't had a bunch of time to break down the technicalities of bastions quite yet, so today's adventures are really just adventures. If if you enjoy this video let me know by dropping a like and subscribing so bastion number one we're going to start today's video off by checking out the bastion that i recorded today's video's intro in this bastion right here this bastion is located in this world right there i'll put the seed in the description and is found at these coordinates right here negative 7500 95 7000 at least approximately so, I think we'll actually start at the top of this bastion and work our way down. This piece of the bastion is technically considered a housing unit, I believe. So, uh, we have a ruined winding staircase right here that leads us right down to our very first loot chest. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead and take a look inside of this thing. Now, you have to remember that when exploring this thing in survival, one, uh, you're probably going to want to bring some gold armor and wear the stuff so the piglins don't instantly aggro to you. And uh, two, uh, if you open chests, piglins are going to actually get mad at you, so you're going to have to come up with some way to work around that. Now, the structure is a gigantic maze. It's very, very easy to get lost in here, so it might be a pretty good idea to bring something like some torches or something, because, uh, yeah, giant maze, gonna get lost, kind of bad. Or uh, you could just kind of rip the structure out as you go, which that would definitely work too, but... I mean, then you ruin the natural beauty, I, the natural, I guess, destruction of this thing. What do we have over here? Any netherite? Ah, uh, multi-shot, a unbreaking one, okay. Yeah, not the best loot there. So yeah, after recording yesterday's snapshot showcase video, I did learn that you can actually find netherite gear inside of these things, which is pretty crazy, pretty OP, and definitely going to be the best loot that you can possibly find inside of these things. There's also quite a bit of lanterns in these structures, so if you like decorating with lanterns maybe come over here take some of the lanterns and you'll be good to go let's go ahead and flip into spectator mode so we can kind of speed things up here because uh this structure winds down quite a long way as you can see here that this is kind of wrapping down but uh unfortunately it doesn't really go anywhere if there were any chests on there we would be able to see them in spectator mode so basically long hallways that don't really lead anywhere is uh what's down below that piece of the bastion but there's a whole lot more. So sliding back over to where we started pretty much, if we look down here, we'll find a bridge. If we jump down onto this bridge, we find this really cool looking room down here with lava. This thing is organized and looks really, really nice. This room sort of makes me think of like maybe, maybe some sort of base or storage room. If we like put glass over the floor here, you could make a gigantic storage room. I don't know, I think that would be pretty cool. But anyways, we have a bridge that leads over into this part of the structure and oh boy if you haven't seen this part of a bastion yet you are in for a good surprise because take a look at this room right here it is gigantic it's deep it's big and it's amazing looking so we have pathways going around the edge of this room sort of like balconies but you need to be careful there are holes all over the place here if you fall uh it could be bad depending on where you fall now these pathways around the edge of the structure are more like rooms because they don't all necessarily connect. If you're trying to check out each and every one, you'll need to bring a pickaxe and you'll definitely need to bring something like some scaffolding or some building blocks to make your way around this thing. An interesting piece of the structure that I really, really like is this bit right here. This is like 
that romantic, you know, like getaway room in the middle of a bastion. You know, you've ever wanted to just relax with the piglins by the fire? Well, this is the place where you would definitely do that, but you'll have to convince the piglins to actually be your friend first because, yep, uh, unless you're wearing gold, you're, you're just not their friend. But I don't know. I do really think that this piece of the structure is cool. Kind of interesting to see the devs using just netherrack and fire instead of like campfires. I mean, they use lanterns in these structures, so why not just do normal campfires? I get the blue soul fire campfires would highly stress out the piglins, but I don't know. Just thought that was kind of interesting, but it still is really, really cool. Over here, we have that exact same structure, just a little bit lower. Now, the really interesting part of the structure is actually found down here at the bottom of it. This is technically called the treasure room. Over in the treasure room, we have a brand new spawner that is hung via a new Minecraft chain from the ceiling. And this spawner spawns, yep, you saw it there, magma cubes. This is unlike anything that has been added to Minecraft in at least the last couple years. The devs have not added a new spawner that spawns within a survival structure into the game in a long, long time, which is pretty exciting here. This room is definitely a room that I plan on heading into in survival to make, of course, a magma cube farm so we can farm those magma creams for potions, of course. Now over here, we have some gold loot. You take it if you want. Remember, piglins don't like it if you mine gold blocks as well. And then actually over here, we have some loot as well. Inside of this chest, spectral arrows. Spectral arrows are, in my opinion, one of the better pieces of loot that you can find in these structures. How useful are they? I don't know, debatable, but you can find them here, which I do think is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Flipping over into the spectator, flying around the edge of this uh, structure here, you can see that we do have another loot chest right over here. But aside from that, I don't think we have too much more inside of this structure. Basically, gigantic, cool room, lots of lanterns, of course, as you can see, lots of piglins, a ton of blackstone, and that spawner. That spawner is really the big takeaway from this structure. I love that thing, and we're definitely going to see some of that action in survival when making uh, some sort of farm or something. Oh, hey, there is another loot chest. What do we have? Ah, the music disc. The music disc, that's awesome. That is sweet. But I think that is actually just about it for Bastion number one. If you find something more here, definitely send me a screenshot over on Twitter. Time for Bastion number two. Oh boy, Bastion number two is really, really cool looking. This is the Bastion that I tweeted a screenshot of. So this Bastion is located in the exact same world and almost at the same coordinates. This Bastion is maybe about 500 blocks away from the other one. This Bastion looks a whole lot different though. So first off, take a look at this gigantic bridge piece right here with this little structure. Now, what is this thing meant to be? I don't know, I've spent a lot of time taking a look at this thing. I can't tell, is it like a hoglin? That's the closest thing that I could see. Like, that's a tusk, that's a tusk, then maybe that's the head, I have no clue. And what is that? Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I genuinely don't know what that thing is meant to be, but it's cool looking. Again, remember, if you try and take the gold blocks, the piglins are going to be upset, but piglins don't care if you break blackstone or uh, quartz, so you can take those things, but the gold, maybe think twice about it. Now this bridge is absolutely ruined. This thing is destroyed, so you're going to need to be careful. But take a look at this piece right here. This is really, really cool looking. Now if you slide into the seed and you check it out, it's going to look a little bit different. I used some TNT to blow this piece of the, uh, I guess the mountain away so we could see the face on this thing. Take a look at this. We have one eye right there, the piglin snout, the piglin mouth, the devs are on point with this structure. This is amazing. And if you saw my building with Blackstone video, oh, wow, I was turning another fortress into sort of like, it had like a head structure. It was nowhere near as cool looking as this, but just amazing. I like how they use polished basalt inside of this thing for the teeth. Makes the teeth look really, really worn out. The piglins have not been taking care of these things, definitely. Um, yeah, this area is really cool looking. Now, uh, there's a hoglin here, and initially when I found this place, there were more hoglins inside of this thing as well. I love the lava on the side as well. Definitely gives off this whole creepy, dangerous vibe. Now, this sort of doesn't really go anywhere so if you're trying to actually explore this thing you're going to need to get brave and start jumping through some of these holes here if we go down one layer from the layer that we were just on we're then in a place that looks like this even more lava flowing everywhere and more bridge this bridge actually is the same bridge that we were just on it's just sort of like a lower layer of that same bridge 
but uh, this piece is, I think, mostly for show. I do think there are a little bit of rooms, though, inside of the head, too, which is really, really cool. And I think I found some loot in here, too. Uh, let me see if I can refine that loot, though. Uh, was it in here? Was it in this one? Ah, uh, aha, there is loot, but it's not actually located in the head. So we're on the back side of the head. If we slide over this way, we have some loot right over here and a gas too. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, but inside of this chest, what do we have? We have some netherite scrap. That's amazing. That is big loot. That's really, really good. Over here, we have ancient debris, which is just as good as netherite scrap, except this hasn't been smelted up in a furnace. So I guess it's actually a little less good. This, the piglin banner pattern. That's really cool. You get one of these things you're good forever in your world so long as you don't lose it so that's pretty nice and of course we have none other than the soul speed enchantment on these golden boots as goes for the rest of that room nothing else really but if we flip into spectator we will see that this structure does continue downwards here we have some winding hallways that really uh unfortunately go pretty much nowhere if you follow these hallways down they go down to the lava which is nice but yeah no like interesting loot or anything basically just another way in so theoretically you could grab one of these striders cruise right over to this part of the bastion and then make your way up to the top eventually finding the loot that's at the top of this thing so going back outside of the structure again behind the head or the bridge piece uh we have the whole right side of the structure which is equally as gigantic now to start no loot at the top of this one right here but of course we do have quite a bit of structure to check out inside of here now unfortunately this side of the structure also uh, doesn't really have too much at all so uh we really don't have a lot of loot inside of this structure when compared to the other one but uh this structure one final point that i'd like to make here about this thing is pretty much a gigantic piglin i mean at least how i see it i sort of see this side over there as like an arm or a shoulder and then the other side that we can't see as an arm or a shoulder and then of course the head part right there it's like a piglin wearing netherite armor at least in my imagination and then a bridge going into its mouth maybe that's like its tongue kind of disgusting yeah i really didn't need to know that that's what a piglin tongue looks like apparently but yeah bastion number two gigantic piglin looking structure it's super cool you need to see this in minecraft for yourself because it is gigantic the scale of this thing it's huge it is really really cool bastion number one was really cool because it had that spawner room bastion number two it was really cool because it was a gigantic face even though half of it was completely blocked bastion number three is actually two bastions combined into one but not at the same time these are two separate bastions the seed is right here again that'll be down in the description and the coordinates that you're looking for are right here negative 684 negative 431 so a lot closer to probably where you would be heading into the nether uh in the first place now the first bastion is right there the second one is actually right over there now unfortunately these are both bastions that we've sort of already seen in this video this bastion is one of these gigantic face looking bastions but i mean look it you can actually see the face this time the structure if you doubted me last time you thought it was crazy and there's no way you could do that because 100 percent it's a face I, how do you not see it we're gonna check out both of these bastions still but we're going to move through them a whole lot quicker because they're sort of what you've already seen so again weird structure thing right there if somebody could tell me what that is that would be great and a bridge that is absolutely destroyed that goes into the piglin's uh the piglin's mouth area now behind this bastion this time we don't have a loot room right over here the loot is actually going to be a little bit trickier to find at least from the outside of this thing the head is a little bit more filled out though and inside of the head behind this eye we have some loot right there with a lodestone which is really really cool if you've been following 1.16 you know that the lodestone is basically a directional marking block it's pretty cool moving up the head a little bit more we have this interesting looking i guess like top balcony area but it's completely blown in so that's not really safe to stand but i mean imagine restoring this thing uh then it could be really really cool to stand on uh definitely a nice top to your base maybe you put like a glass dome on it or something the piglin has like a like a helmet on i have no clue but uh yeah we do actually have the top of the head this time which is kind of cool to see flipping into spectator mode here we can fly through the structure and see that unfortunately there are no loot chests on the other side behind the other eye but we do have quite a bit of structure this time 
over here and actually loot inside of it. Let's see what we have inside of this chest. Any netherite? Ah, no. A crossbow with the curse of vanishing. Thanks, piglins. You're great. You're great. You're great. I definitely wanted that one. This structure is even more maze-like than the other one. The hallways continue downwards quite a bit, but unfortunately, I, I don't really see anything interesting down here. Really worth our time, worth uh, checking out. Now, this maze-like uh, bits of the structure do sort of connect over to the other side as well. Underneath the other side, you know, more of the same thing, winding hallways. There is this gilded blackstone in here, if you're looking for gold, which would be cool to get, but again, piglins gold, you, you know, you know the deal already. But we do have yet another loot chest over here. Hopefully this time we get something a little bit better than a Curse of Vanishing Crossbow. Uh, anything? The piglin pattern? That's cool. That's cool. You can't craft the thing. Um, I would say that's a little bit better than a Curse of Vanishing Crossbow, but in terms of loot, as far as I'm aware, I think that's actually just about it for this structure. This structure is more so just really, really cool looking, and again, absolutely gigantic. I mean, take a look at that thing. That's huge. This structure does have that whole under the bridge area too, which is really cool looking. Lots of lava flowing in there. Definitely be careful, but bastion number two which is actually also located conveniently uh by a ruined nether portal like this is the place to go this is like the best thing ever uh yeah the loot here is not the best but i mean it's a ruined nether portal with a bastion and a bastion what could be better now this bastion is thankfully one of the bastions that i sort of like a little bit more because you know i like to make farms this bastion has the spawner room down here at the bottom now, if you can remember the first bastion that we checked out, the gold area in this area uh, looked quite different. This one is actually built here, and would you take a look at this? We have some loot down here with a netherite sword. Curse of Vanishing, which is pretty bad, but it's still netherite, which is amazing. And now, unfortunately, at least you can't remove the curse with the grind zone or anything like that. It's going to be stuck on there forever, but it's a netherite sword. I mean, come on, come on. It's netherite, which is really, really cool looking. Uh, yeah, and there's even more loot around the edge of this thing, too. Uh, where is it? These things are so confusing. I know I saw it somewhere. Aha, I found the loot chest. So this time, both of the other loot chests, or at least the other two that I could find, are located higher up. So over here in this corner, we have this loot chest. The loot in this chest isn't really the best unless uh, you consider the Crying Obsidian because we can not actually craft Crying Obsidian. So that's kind of good. Over in this loot chest, we have this loot right here. This time, the pig step disc is definitely the best thing by far. Continuing upwards in this room, there is no more loot, at least from what I've seen. But we do have an exit and a bridge over to the other part of the structure, which is pretty much identical to the other one that we saw, except this time the bridge and this organized lava area is out in the open. Take a look at that view. This is so, so cool. The devs have really outdone themselves with the structures here. I love them. They're amazing. That's a lot of piglins. What are you guys doing down there? Are you trapped? <laughs> you should probably get out of there. Anyways, as you can see here, lots of maze-like tunnels winding down this structure. I wasn't able to find any chests down in the lower part of the structure, but in the top part of the structure, oh boy, I was definitely able to find some loot chests. So, in this room on this side, we have this chest right here with Soul Speed 1 and some netherite scrap. Very, very good. And then over in this chest, we have this loot right here. Not the best, but the spectral arrows are cool. Climbing out of this room, we could go upwards and explore the structure more, or we could flip into spectator and fly over to the other side that is equal with this room and check out this loot chest right here. This one is a little bit bigger. Two more pig step music discs for our collection pretty nice. Back into spectator mode, we can fly up and see that the structure continues upwards, and there are some gold blocks on it as well, if you're looking for gold. But in terms of loot, I believe that is pretty much it for this bastion. So if you were going to check out any bastions from today's video, I would check out the third one because you have that gigantic bastion right there. You have the other really cool one right over there. And then, of course, you have this ruined portal as well. I mean, to me, this is the survival base location. I mean, you build the base over here. You have the bastion in the background. Maybe even uh, set a base up in between these things or maybe even take over the bastion and make that your base. Wow, all of those options sound amazing. This location is crazy cool and i found this seed on my own at random which i was pretty hyped about too i mean this doesn't get much better than this
But elites, I think that is going to be all that we have time for today. If you enjoyed this fun exploration video, let me know by dropping a like and uh, subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. If you found a really cool seed that you think I should see, feel free to drop that down in the description with a little bit of a description or just tweet it at me with some screenshots. My Twitter is linked down below this video in the description. Today, I'd like to big shout out my guy, Dire Arctic Wolf. Thank you very much for the support. Again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, elites, stay cool. It has been me, your boy, Waddles. Goodbye, everybody.